the heat wave finally broke and it is a gorgeous Labor Day weekend and um, we are going to plant some fall crops and actually my candy onions woohoo woo um, I had to order these online because I couldn't get them locally but this is um, actually I'm planting these um, for the springtime so I'll have sets to transplant so we're gonna put candy onions I'm planting all of these we're also going to be planting um, white icicle. I got, no, I got all my little signs. Um, let's see. Cherry bell. More cherry bell. These are the fairy morris. These came out really good. Let's see. I love endives. We're going to do endive. We're going to do that Italian chicory again. Uh, bib lettuce. This was from Walmart. <laughs> okay, fine. It's probably not organic. Um, more cherry bell. 20 cents, you know. I don't know. It could be too late for these uh, cucumbers, but I figured I'd take a shot. And of course, I am planting a ton of beets. I'm trying the botanical interests beets and also these fairy moors. These are both Detroit dark red. These came out really good, um, as you saw. I want to can these. So, um, and also, I'm. These are my uh, Cascadia peas. Um, I don't know if I talked about these in a previous video, but from my pea forest, um, these are all those peas. So I figured I'd go ahead and play around with these this fall to see how well they come up. Um, I am also getting ready to plant three jade cross broccoli or jade cross brussels sprouts um, and some a uh, couple of broccoli plants and a couple of cabbages um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started oh I've got my concoction here uh, standard concoction of worm castings some rock phosphate um, one of and some organic fertilizer one of the things when I'm planting the onions, they talk about uh, sulfur making onions hot. So um, I don't think this has much sulfur in it. So hopefully um, that will be fine. But it's got dry molasses. It's got the seaweed in it, um, worm castings, fertilizer, compost. I got some really good compost. Let me show you that. This is some really, really good compost. Um, nice and nice and fresh so I'm looking forward to using that um, and I'll probably just end up dumping the rest of it out and sifting through it later but I'm not going to sift through the compost if I'm going to use it to plant stuff in immediately Kind of hard to do with just one hand. There. And then after these are the um, Brussels sprouts and then after um, I'm done with these I'm gonna spray them with um, BT because the um, as you can see I had left them out and already the stupid cabbage moths have uh, been uh, making caterpillars and chewing on them okay they're in and now I'm going to put in some uh, pine bark mulch um, because it's so dry, you know, I'm going to put some pine bark mulch. Pine bark mulch also gives a, I don't know how much, but just a little bit of acid from what I read. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on to um, help keep moisture in. That soil's really dry.
this is the this is the Jersey night. Look at the size of these stalks coming up. And so there was a short one and I couldn't resist. I had to taste it. I figured there's enough here. But I wish all of these came up, but they didn't. That's okay. It rained. Yay! Oh, we're so happy to have rain. But isn't that cute? <laughs> it's a little pumpkin. Anyway, um, a couple cabbages. There's the broccoli. Brussels sprouts are back there. Radishes are really coming along. Look at that. That's pretty good. Really coming along nice. We'll be eating them soon. I might... Okay, I have to eat that one. In huh, rogue lettuce. Here's more turn, turnips um, are over here. Have another potato. Check that out. It's crazy. A potato amongst the cucumbers. I don't know if I'll make it with those cucumbers. That's okay. But here's all the turnips right here. That's the uh, candy onion sprouts growing amidst mass basil. That's okay. I'll let that go too. And the lettuce is coming up. And these ended up being rogue cantaloupe. I gotta pull those up. But my poor little ugly Cherokee purple. You know, it just really bounced back as soon as that drought end. Well, not the drought ended, but as soon as it cooled off. But I don't know if I'm gonna get anything. I'm almost running out of battery, so I'm <laughs> trying to hurry. But anyway, um, I know I got started kind of late on this, but. Yeah, we'll see what we get. Okay, bye. And last but not least, what do we have in here? <gasps> Look at that. What's that? Oh, <gasps> it's applesauce. The elf was here and she canned some applesauce because she saw a really good video of applesauce. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. It came out really good. I don't know, you know, if what the color looks like on camera, but it looks like really beautiful color applesauce. It's not brown or orangey. I can't tell if it looks like that on the video. I don't think it does. But anyway, yes, a combination of four different apples. Okay, well, that's my update for today. I hope you have a good one. We'll see you. Bye.